Damn. <laughs> Stop. Facebook memory is some bullshit, yo. All the time. <laughs> just had just had a, a video of me and your girl. See? <laughs> Jay. Oh. Pop up. Is this rolling? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah. damn, my man. <laughs> had a video pop up earlier. I said, motherfucker. Yeah, it, it can do that. See, when, <laughs> those, when those kind of memories pop up, I tell them not to send me that shit. <laughs> I, I don't I don't, don't see that shit no more. I don't really have nothing crazy that's ever that I posted. Nigga. Like I ain't the whole fuck I've only posted two women. <laughs> it, 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 it it ain't about the like the physical post of seeing somebody. Now, it's, it's the shit a, that I've said. Oh, I was about to say that's the And shit then that they I probably said. commented or it's you know what I'm saying? Said. Yeah, yeah, it's the like fuck I was on, yo. Like, <laughs> I just like the That's shit that I've said, and then I be like, I really I felt that like way back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nine. Like, I was like, then I was some of them I be like, look at the come like, oh shit, the shit was lit. You know, so you know, subliminal shots at bitches. I'm like, come on, man. God ah, damn. I ain't to do that. Yeah. <laughs> my, my feelings are no nine. And I can, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. I look at some of my stories. It's, I be like, yo, damn, I was wild as shit, yo. That's takes some wild ass shit to beat. <laughs> Man, I know that shit you posted the other day. I was like, I'm gonna just remain silent because what? Use a lie. Oh yeah. <laughs> if the pussy is good, gushy and cheesy, you not right. supposed to die. Nigga, do you know what this I don't shit? what I said. You said if the what? If the pussy gushy and ju- if somebody said if the pussy gushy and juicy, that don't mean nothing. I said shit. Shit, shit. You a motherfucker lie. Don't mean don't. Yeah, you a motherfucker lie. I'm saying, my I'm, mind, dude, I'm just saying it don't mean it don't. No. Nigga, in my mind, us should start playing. That's what it's made for. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> You got Mitch and Mac on the pod tip. Had these bitches doing backflips. Came in the game with nothing to lose, and now we here to stay and got something to prove. All you other podcasters, back up, cause we here now. Get down off the throne and hand us our crown. It's a dynamic duo from Park Heights to Cherry Hill, and the shit he came across. It's no fiction, all real Can't forget about BP Cause her segment and be on point All I guess do rapid fire Just pick this or that joint So listen up, we got something to say All you haters better stay away Or we heat the situation up and have it ring it Just like it was the end of May Two niggas, that's hilarious Conversations have you furious I just got one question Nigga, are you serious? Yo, 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 welcome to another episode of Are You Serious Podcast. We are a podcast that's a show. And a show that's a motherfucking podcast. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. I'm your host for this evening, Mac, a.k.a. Karaoke Bully, a.k.a. The Mac Train. And far to my left is my host. What it do, y'all? It's your man, Mitch, your girlfriend's favorite barber. We're here at 3037 Hamilton Avenue, the motherfucking Saul Kerrigan Studios. And to yeah. my right... It's your boy Jones, uh, your girlfriend's favorite guest host. <laughs> you know the what it fuck? Is. If you don't get a new tagline, yeah, it's out of here. I like it. I, I like, like it. I like it. I like it. It's cool. I like it. It's cool, but I don't like how you feel like that made you better than me. I like, like it. Like yeah, it. Your girlfriend's favorite <laughs> guest host. Yeah, I, I don't like, like it. It is, man. It's Jones. We back at I it. Like it. Simple as put. Put simple. You heard what he said. We taking all y'all bitches. No, I'm just kidding. Right, Damn. Anyway. <laughs> okay. What's up, fellas? What's going What's on? Going on What's going on? What it is, man? I can't call it. I cannot call it. It's, it's been two weeks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How your two weeks been, though? <sighs> it's, it's been up and down. Peaks and valleys. You know okay. what I'm saying? Roller coaster ride? Yeah. Um, I got a story. <laughs> so... Story time. I, I got, Story uh, time with Mitch. I got a new phone like the third of February, right? Okay. So, um, when I went, I told the chick, I said, you know, I need the the Pro Max. She must want listening to me. She come out, try to sell me all these accessories and shit. 
I'm like, look, I need a phone cover. That's that. So she said, you want the bling joint? I said, yeah. So she showed me the box. Here's the phone. I'm not paying attention to what the fuck she's doing. She put the screen cover on and handed me the phone. I said, what the fuck is this? This this phone little as shit. She said, I thought you said you wanted the Pro. I said, baby girl, I got a Pro Max already. Why the fuck am I downgrade? Like, did you just call me broke? So she like, no. Nah. <laughs> she like, no. Nah. She like, my bad, my bad. I thought, you know, you said whatever. So she goes. Hey, hey, and, took that shit so down. mind you, I had already swiped my card for the Pro. I ain't know. I'm thinking it's a Pro Max. So when she come back, she said, well, we're not going to charge you a restock fee. She start talking real fast like them niggas at the end of the car commercial and shit. I said, baby, girl, you got to <laughs> slow the fuck. I told her straight up. I said, you talking like them niggas, you got to slow down because I feel like you're scamming me. So she's like, well, we're not going to charge you a restock, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So we're going to put the money back on your card. That was what I heard. So spam, she convinced, giving me my new phone, everything straight. So I took my old phone with me, but I was trading it, and I said I'd bring it back, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I'm waiting about a week. Look at my Navy Federal account. Ain't no refund. I just see that AT&T took my money. You know what I mean? So, Both times. Huh? Both times? Well, the other time I paid cash. I paid cash for the second phone. Okay. I paid car for the first one. So I I call down there. I call down there. Yo, crazy. Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Went to the match, I, I called down there. And chick say, I'm going to do. He say, he said, well, I'm not privy to the situation. You got to talk to the manager, Zach. I said, oh, well, shit. all right. When the fuck is Zach going to be in? So he said, Zach, me in Tuesday, blah, blah. I said, all right, bam. I see Zach Tuesday. So sitting outside with the store. When I go in there, I'm like, Zach, this is what happened. Or the associate told me. I said, Zach, I don't know what the associate told you. I ain't want no pro. I already had a pro max. I just want my loot. You know what I'm saying? So he like, well, we can't put it back on the car. I'm like, Zach, but that's how I gave it to you. Like, well, we can, we, I'm going to have to see if I can get you cash. Where I work. Why the fuck? When I, but whatever. Just make sure I get my money. You want phone credit? No, I don't want no bill credit because I'm going to bill with another nigga. I'm not sharing my money with him. I want my fucking money that I gave you. You know what I'm saying? So he like, well, give me a couple of days. I pose a couple like, of days. Yeah, yeah, cause I cause he gotta get authorization, do whatever, whatever. I said, so do I need to call you or you gonna call me? He said, no, I'm gonna call you. Week go by, I don't hear from this motherfucker. So I called back. This other nigga answered the phone. I'm like, dude, We're getting a run around can I speak to Zach? He like, well, he in a meeting. I'm like, well, he's like, can I ask who this is? So I tell him, and I said, I want my money. So he comes back. Zach said that, that the district manager said that he can't pay you. So we apologize. I said, ain't no apologies. Fuck you. I'm coming to see Zach. And hung up on the phone, hung the phone up. Hey, yo. So I said, let me hold tight for a minute. I'm going to call customer service because I already know where my mindset is going into this place. So I call customer service. She say, well, it's, our policy states that the, you know, the fee is up to manager blah 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 i said miss i called you for a resolve because i'm ready to handle this another way <laughs> so, she like, so she like okay so, <laughs> so, <laughs> this, this is how i'm talking this, yeah so this is how i'm talking she like she like you know just be you know careful without so <laughs> At this time, so let me he tell y'all. You go to AT&T, it's 20 police cars. So listen, but hold on, so listen. So listen, so then, in the midst of that, I veer off, I go over to Wendy's. So I go over to Wendy's, I tell the chick, I say, give me the, the pretzel the pretzel joint with the bacon. She say, single, triple, do say, give me double. So then I say, can I get a Frosty? Bitch say, we ain't got none. Just straight like that, we ain't got none. So I'm already pissed with, you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm like, no, so I'm like, all right, well, can I get my full biggie size? She said, what you just asked for? I said, can I get a biggie size? We all go to Wendy's. We know that this shit say biggie size. This bitch said, what that mean? Nigga, I said, never mind. I pulled off. <laughs> yo, I went home, yo, because I'm like, you pissed me off. Well, you go to the fight, I couldn't, yo, because I'm, I'm, all, I'm heated. So I just been, you know, taking a break. So today, I said, I'm going to call the AT&T corporate store downtown. 
that's what we usually deal with. I talk to them. So I said, yo, I'm going to speak to a manager, black dude. He hollered at me. He said, what can, he said, what's wrong? So I explained to him what happened. He said, well, he said, what's the phone number to the store? So I tell him, he said, I'm going to call. So he was gone for about three, four minutes. He come back. He say, uh, well, he said that he witnessed you tell the associate two times that you wanted the pro. I said, he's a fucking liar. He wasn't even right there. Why would... You know what I'm saying? It's not like I left well, y'all. Well, he wasn't even at work because that's what the girl said. Nigga. He had to wait for the dude to come. Nigga. Yeah. So he, I said, I said, oh, he's a fucking liar. So then he was like, I don't know, and, um, the so then he says, I can't remember the other thing he said. He lied about that. But the third lie, he was like, yeah, he said, um, he was waiting for you to come down and he had the police because he said you threatened him. I was like, he's a fucking liar. All I said was, I'm coming to see Zach. I didn't say what I was going to do to Zach. None of that shit. Yeah, you done scared for a little Yo, Zach. this nigga's, like, literally, he said I threatened him. So you you, you kind of did, though. Nigga. You the second person. I'm just saying, because we know you, nigga. You kind of did, though. So, he said, he was like, yo, the only thing I can tell you, he said, you're not going to get your money back. He said, I'm going to be transparent with you. He said, the only thing I can tell you to do is to call customer service and explain to them what happened, and they'll give you a phone credit. But I'm like, I don't want to share my money with nobody. I just want my own shit. So, now, like, <clears throat> probably tomorrow, I'm going to just have to call 611. But, Zach, you count your fucking days. Another threat. <laughs> now, that's a threat. Because <laughs> that's some bullshit. Well, all right. <laughs> Zach, you done fucked up. <laughs> like, why would you yeah, lie on Zach, me, dog? Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know, Zach. A lot of people yeah, watch this yeah, broadcast, yeah, yeah. man. You Captain better lay Disney. low, nigga. <laughs> what do you say? You better, better lay low. low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, what? What's, what? Never mind. I, I asked you that off camera. Richie Highway. Okay. <laughs> 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 what else that? If y'all want to take y'all picket signs out there, whatever, you know. <laughs> Zach is what? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, what y'all been watching, yo, since y'all just saw my movie, you know? yeah, yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, I, I ain't had that, awesome that entertaining uh, going on with me. Um, I ain't going to go shit. I'm chilling, watching uh, my show's back on Law and Orders. That's what I'm saying. Everything Chicago back, no? yeah. Everything back. Everything back. So catching up on those and shit, and that's pretty much it. What about oh shit, Tubi time? <laughs> Tubi I got a uh, uh, I got a list. Tubi movies of the week. Here's the yeah. order of my list to get in. It goes Reggie, Jay Z, Tupac, and Biggie. <laughs> so, um, I watched this movie on Tubi called The Step Daughter. I've heard about that. I did too. Something like the uh, Good Son. Something like that. Yeah. Like that. that shit was crazy. It was good though, but that little witch. Yeah. <laughs> something wrong with that little witch. Could be. You. <clears throat> the um. Huh. Could be you. No. I, I I can't say that because the plot twist at the end just kind of fucked you up. Like it, mm. but. The person who was behind her actions was just, you just, you like, God, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I'm going to try to check that out. I'm going to try to so, check that um, out. So, I seen a movie called My Husband's Baby. That's on Tubi. Um, basically, it was a, this lady, she was, you know, her and her husband, um, he was a coach. He was a football coach. And his team had played in Florida. Uh, so he had got drunk, like I mean, the coach. Yeah, drunk, drunk. Coaches be going through shit out here, man. So uh, <laughs> next thing you know, some white lady pop up at their door saying that she he got her pregnant. Mm. <laughs> Not the white woman. <laughs> yeah, Man. that's what made it even worse. That's what made it even worse, man. White woman. And uh, I don't want to tell the movie though, but like yo. That white woman? She crazy. Psycho. A fucking she got one. psycho. She got one. Yeah, that was that was a good that was a good movie. Um the Mia the Mia 
Me and cool. Coco. You yeah. watched it? Yeah. It was, was actually, it, was actually, it was actually decent. Kelly did a good fucking job. I'm quite sure she I'm did. Yeah, Kelly did a good fucking job with that movie, yo. Um, she was with some fuck nigga, though. But, yeah. That, that was a good... I, I, I recommend it. I would recommend you watch it. It's pretty good. Um, you watched the Vince Staples show? You it told me about I, that. I didn't get a chance. To, yo, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you. Like, yo, I think I'm, I'm going to try watching you. this weekend. I'm going to try watching this telling, weekend. You ever watched um, the Michael Che show? Oh, he, he had his own show? show? He yeah, had, yeah, had yeah. his own show. Yeah, yeah. yeah really? He had one. Yeah. I just knew he had to stand up. And no, he had, he I fucked with him on the, you know, the news shit on. Uh, yeah, he got a show. That's on Saturday Night Live, but that's what check I check both of them out. Vince Staples and Michael Chase. Michael Chase is pretty funny. I'm gonna yeah. check out Vince Staples. Huh? I'm gonna check out Vince. Yeah, Vince Staples. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. There's only five episodes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but I'm just mad because they so short though. They like 20, 20 something minutes. Mm-hmm. A show. Yeah, you really can do that in like one sitting for real. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right. yeah, I, I watched it all in one night. Mm-hmm. And what's um, that song? That's on Netflix, Netflix? right? Netflix. All right, bet. Yeah, because he out there... Uh, I could have watched that shit at work. He was polling the people, talking about Netflix ain't open the pocketbook, tell them to get some more episodes, yeah. so... Um, I was seeing the Bob Marley movie. How do you feel about it? I don't really know Bob's story. That's all, That's the kind of reason... That's the reason I kind of want to see it. That's why I've I want to see why he's so iconic, why people yeah, don't follow him so much. It, but I don't know if I want to pay for it. <laughs> He's definitely not paying for it. Uh-huh. I'm definitely not paying for it. I want to sit because, like, for the same reason, I didn't know his backstory. Yeah. And, like, and quite frankly, I didn't know he died that fucking young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, he looked old as shit. You know? mm-hmm. But I guess it's, you know, it's the roster look and yeah. plus the weed. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. What you trying to say? Yeah, because, you know, Jones only 19, so. <laughs> 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 but, but, I mean, it was... It didn't go too much into the music side of it. Mm. Um, it was more so the political side, uh-huh. like why, why, why he was trying to get the two political sides of Jamaica to come together and shit. Um, but it was, it was actually good though. It was actually, it was actually. I, I can't really say it was bad because I don't know his backstory. I don't know if they the fucking line or not. Right. But Ziggy said he was on a uh, set the whole fucking time, so right. So he would know. So I mean, it was good. I would okay. definitely, uh-huh. I would watch it again. Put it that way. Um, so what you're saying is you didn't pay for it? No, I went to the movies. Oh, okay. Because you said movies. watch it again. I just wanted to. No, I went to they, the they showed the women. Huh? They showed the women. No, because really. he was because he was out there wilding. They showed his wife. That's it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they lying then because he was out there wilding. They showed his he wife. had the mistress in the crib and everything like. I mean, he, they, 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 did, they did show, they did show his mission, but it wasn't like no, yeah. they wasn't showing like no, um, no yeah, exclu- he, exclusive yeah, shit. Yeah, he was wilding though. I mean, he definitely had like, five kids. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Definitely had like five kids. Mm. Um, and I saved the best for the last. This movie's for you, my brother. <laughs> and I'm going to take I'm going to go out on a limb when I say this. I saw The Beekeeper. I have to, I have it saved to watch in my favorites. Jason Stratham, I told you, I don't, I don't, he don't miss really, so. He might fuck John Wick up. Oh, yeah. I keep saying, I got it Yo, saved in my favorites. I just haven't that watched it yet. That movie? My cousin said it was really good. He said he enjoyed that shit. Yo, mm. he might fuck. Wait. Okay. Uh, he fucking he fucking uh Denzel up and equalized off the break. Like, really? <laughs> there's there's no fucking there's there's no there's Man. no no chance. I can see that. <laughs> but John Wick, he'll give him a run, but he he I got him beating John Wick in the end. I've been trying to watch that third one. I just can't what? can't get with it. The, the equalizer. It was better than the second. Yeah. I'm been trying like the beginning. Like he went he went hard, but I can't. I think it's just the I mean, fucking Italian the and shit that they talk like. Yeah, the, I think the third one's better than the second okay. one. I didn't really like the second one too much. Okay. Yeah, the second one, I didn't even finish that. Because yeah, Yoda played Wu-Tang. He don't get shit. He's like the worst actor, yo. You th- oh, you talking about a uh, nigga that play, uh, play Rizzo. Rizzo, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that beekeeper. I didn't even finish that last season. Six out of five. Me neither. Yeah. 
The last one I saw was the old Dirty episode when he was when he was on stage wilding out and shit. Mm. So you that's you ain't that's you done, Mac? Yeah. So I watched that new show, The Shogun on FX. I'm trying to get into it because they say it's really good. Another one. So subtitles. It's straight subtitles, like except for when the British niggas be talking or wherever the fuck they from. But the Asian niggas is straight throwback. You got to read the screen. But it seems like it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to give it a chance. Um, so I'm watching that show Tracker. I don't know. I seen, I seen, I, 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 I said I was going to watch it. It's, it's actually really good. It is. I like that, yeah. Because you'll, you'll just, he just be chasing reward money. Like for real, for real. But he be helping people at the same time. Like, yeah, it be seem, they feel like he don't have a genuine concern because he's chasing the money. But yo, be, he, he be handling his business. I dig that. And I started watching the um, Patriots Dynasty um, mm-hmm. documentary joint on Apple TV. <clears throat> Is it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. It, especially how they show how Tom Brady took Drew Blesso's job. It's really good. Mm. Oh yeah, I did see uh, Madam Web too. What did you think of it? Because I heard mixed reviews. I heard it wasn't no action. It really wasn't that much action, but if you watch it, like I don't I mean I don't know who told you that, that you know it was no action. I don't know what type of. If they really are like a Marvel fan, or anything. Who's a Marvel like that. person told me that. But I can see the I can see her being set up to be. But she, part, from what I understand, she's a part of the multiverse of Spider Man. She is, and she really supposed to be with the other nigga, Jose Morales, the cartoon nigga. That's what I was told, huh? Ain't that his name, Jose Morales? It's Miles Morales. Miles Morales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jose. I was going to rock with Jose. Like, Jose. Like, oh, well, that's a wrestler. Jose Morales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I thought I was going to rock with Jose. No, that's, that's Pedro. Like, Jose Morales. Pedro Morales. Yeah, his name is yeah. Pedro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. throwback. Don't they don't know about that name. No, they don't. I can see them. I can see them putting her in. That was Some racist sort of, kind of sort yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely Miles. That was definitely Brandon. Brandon. He's, he's black. black. Like, he's black. Well, where the fuck you get Jose? <laughs> Nigga, his last name is Morales. Actually, <laughs> actually, I don't think he's black. Exactly. His I've last seen name both of the movies in the theaters with my son. He may be he, Puerto Rican. Yeah, I think he is. He may be yeah, Puerto I, Rican. I've seen his last name. I don't know no niggas last name Morales. Just saying. <laughs> They gave him a mile. But his mother, because his mother, his mother and father, they, they gotta be. Mm-hmm. One of them is. Well, okay. I know his mother definitely. But you, you know, they say, you know, Latino black anyway, yeah. so. The father's uh, Afro Latino. Yeah. Because his uncle was damn sure seen black, the one that died in the first one. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm just going by this. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's what I was. A dude that's really, you know, the motherfucker that be into that shit. He said she really supposed to be a part of his shit. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. She's part of the uh, Spider Verse, but but in the movie, that shit. In, in the, that's how they left off that last <laughs> movie. Just it's like um, everybody. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, because the but white chick turned on him, right, or some shit. Then she turned on y'all, some shit. Oh, Miles. Yeah, and the white girl. Or no, no, no. Spoiler the- alert! If if for those who didn't watch it. Oh, man, that shit, that shit been out like six some, people, some people still ain't. They might be on. They might be on. They might be on their favorite you list. Should've, you should have watched. Yeah, somebody. you gotta catch up. I know people who people on their favorite list for like six, well, eight months. Like, That's this has been longer than six, to eight months. But I'm saying though, like some people be having that list for. Oh, you should have watched it by now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nigga said I was wrong anyway, so y'all. Yeah, that shit on free form or something by now. I just. What y'all been listening to? Please tell me y'all listen to that bullshit that came out today. Um, I listened to Meek Mill. Nah, first of all, it, yeah. I didn't. I didn't listen to that. I he listened got some to other um, shit going on with him right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> I listened to um, that nigga rapping for his Big life. Big Boogie, 
Big Boogie d- Gangster Grills. Um, I like it. I like it. I know you don't like French Montana. I don't. Me and my homeboy were just talking about this the other day from New York. I do. He's, he said it's tough. I, it, I de- it's definitely tough. I haven't even tried. I de- to it's definitely tough. It's the old French Montana. Yeah, he from New York. French um, Montana was his next door neighbor. Or some shit. He don't fuck with him, but he likes his music. Well, that's why French Montana wasn't. He wasn't popping in New York when he was there. I'm just saying that was his no, I'm just, neighbor. I'm, I'm just testing. What the fuck that got to do with anything? (laughs) (laughs) Now I'm talking about French. I'm just what I'm saying. As an aside, (laughs) like he didn't, he he didn't, he didn't blow, he didn't blow up till he moved down south. Oh, he did. He moved south. I don't. I don't really. I'm not a. You know. Not a fan. Oh yeah. I listened to this song by. I I ain't never heard this dude, but I just listened to it because Pusha T was on there. Um, Ray Vaughn. Yeah. Tough. He reminds you of Nipsey. Yeah. Tough. Him and Pusha got a song called Problems. That shit. Yeah, tough. I heard a snippet of the song. I ain't get to none of the hip hop that they put that beat. Um, I listened to Let Us Eat new album. Yeah, I love it. I, yeah, I love, I love it. that motherfucker. Yeah, I listened to that today. Um, Dirt got a new song I fucks with called Old Days. Um, I I didn't listen to Meek Mill's on until he clears his name of these allegations. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna get to it eventually. No, I'm I, I'm waiting till he clears his name. With these I don't know how long that shit gonna be. So well, you know, then I just go listen to the songs real quick. I'm yeah. not really, I'm not really a person to just go out and just listen to Meek Mill. So, like his old shit, yeah. But his new stuff, it's like a hit of yeah, I mean, me. as he yeah, as he got say. old, it got whacked to me. Um, shit, I I finished. The, I wanted to make sure I finished the whole Usher thing before I like. I haven't talked about it, but I finished that. A couple songs on that I fuck with. Um, this week, I listened to Cardi shit. She got a new freestyle out. Yeah, I heard it. I heard that she did, but I ain't listening. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, shit. Yeah, she they said it's tough, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. It's sampling uh, She's a Bitch. Mm-hmm. Missy? Yeah. Oh. You know um, what? That's why I saw that post I saw today. It was like she. It was it was a joke post. Though. It was like she the only female that could go at J Cole and shit. Yeah, I seen that. All right. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know why she, it was so. Yeah, like she the only female that could go bar for bar with J. Yeah, I didn't know why it was relevant today, but that okay. <laughs> but yeah, it. so I saw. I listened to that. Um, the baby, he got a new freestyle or song out or something. It okay, came on right after. Know. It came on right after the Cardi shit. And I was once he once he time. did the fucking. Uh, PSA, I was like, that's it. I'm yeah, that shit, was terrible. Um, that shit was terrible. Um, I'm in the middle <laughs> of... Never, uh, never, never again. I'm in the middle of Eric Bellinger's uh, like, I like, 3. I like... I like... Um, I, 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 I got stuck because... <laughs> What's going on over here? I got stuck because the writer's block joint with Ty Dolla Sign had me kind of like... And the choke I kind of rewinded that. Yeah. Those, the three songs that's together is that one... Um, find someone and mutual agreement like them three together had me like repeating them so I haven't finished right. oh yeah I did make it to the song with Neo I'm lying and then I went back I didn't back. get to that uh, album that, cause that's volume two right no that's three Re- no I'm saying cause, oh, cause the way it's on oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah yeah so I ain't listened to yeah. the second damn, one damn I didn't even pay attention that it's a double one shit yeah so I'm on the first one I'm on like okay. number six or something I ain't listened to it yet yeah I ain't paid attention that was on my list though yeah, so that was that's when I Chris Brown joint. encouraged everybody to listen to it. I just saw that this evening, but I had already. I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Joint all day. I see he put out a couple songs, but I'm, I don't really like singles. I just want the whole thing, so I can just go through it. Yeah. Okay. My anybody that do music, I I don't want no singles unless it's like a single and you have them come yeah, out. Yeah, damn, I didn't even realize it's another twelve. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I went to the, I got to the Neo joint, then I went back because I was like. That Ty Dolla Sign song was hard. I need to go back to it. Did you watch BMF yet? No. I ain't even watched season two, so, oh. like... Oh, shit, BMF? Yeah, it started today. Yeah. So, I'm not... I, I'm, I haven't watched season two. I was thinking, I said, I should just watch this season just because, but I don't, I don't want to... You know what I'm saying? Like, if I ain't see two, I don't want to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, you don't want watch, to uh, watch three without two. I ain't haven't started three yet, but I know if you miss two, then you... I um, I started watching Raising Canaan. Look at you, proud of you, bro. No, I'm, I'm, you know, participating. 
You on season one already? Yeah. Go right no, here. I didn't even watch season one or two. I just started watching this season. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck, I need to see. Right, I, I come back and see how they came to be who they are, but this is where everybody's talking about right now. Let me catch up right here. And then, before the next season come back out, you got time to watch the other one, so it's like, I'm good. Yeah, you, you got like a full year before the next yeah, one. Yeah, come on. I can watch this shit three times over. <laughs> But that nigga, that nigga, who? The, the Canaan. Oh. That face and. Yeah. Don't fuck with my mother. Yeah, I'm lost. Fuck with that. Yeah, he, 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 he could have left that voice at home. I mean, he's supposed to be 50 cent, I guess. Yeah, but he's 50 after the shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ain't shit get, get worse. Right? <laughs> get shot. Man, ain't gonna be able to open his mouth at all. Go ahead, down syndrome. That's all y'all got? I think so. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, we'll be back else. after a word from our motherfucking sponsor. We on our way to at t <laughs> <laughs> Liquid Lounge Cocktails is more than a mobile bar service. It's luxury in a glass. We bring a touch of exclusivity and sophistication to every event. Our keen attention to hospitality ensures impeccable service from our team with a focus on details. We view mixology as crafted elegance, so each cocktail is a masterpiece. Our repertoire includes signature cocktails served with a touch of flair. Visit liquidloungellc.com today. And we are back with the shit that I came across. What you come across? Though? So look, today I'm I'm gonna play this right here for y'all. We we gotta get into this real quick like this. Shh, these chicks out here wilding, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to no more of this because uh, she's making me mad. But her, her voice tell me she don't eat thirty dollars for lunch. It's lunch, dog. Yeah, like you. Where the fuck you think you're going? I'm sending you this money. I'm not taking you out. You know what I'm saying? That's where it got me fucked up. At it's not like we went on a date, and I say your budget is thirty dollars. I ain't, I don't know you from Adam. I came in your DM. You want lunch? He wild for that though. I mean, people do it. He got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. It ain't tricking if you got it. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. It ain't tricking if you got it. I ain't mad at that. The expectation I level. See, like, why the expectation level so high? Thirty dollars though. That's the. You know what I mean? That's, that's nothing. I just. You know what I mean? My lunch cost like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I'll be honest with you. Like my one of my homegirls had posted something on her page, like send a guy, cash app a guy lunch money or some shit like that. So I jokingly said something about the girl Tanisha that was on the show before. I said something about her owing me money, just joking because it was her sister's page. She Apple paid me twenty five dollars. Nigga, I went right to Italiano and got me a nice lunch for twenty five dollars. Who complains about twenty five dollars? You know what I'm saying? Now, but, but does it matter the occupation? What you mean? Nah, why should it? No, nah, I'm just asking. Nah. If, regard, if she does, that would it change depending on what she did for a living? So, if she was like an Amazon worker, to a nurse, to uh, I don't know, fucking Chinese somebody in politics. I'll be honest with you. Say. If she was an Amazon worker, she don't have that much time for lunch. So. If I send her ten dollars, you better get this burger kit. But I don't care. I don't care where you work at. This is what I'm giving you. Thirty dollars. You make th- it's lunch. No, I understand. And you got my girl, so I don't no, really think I, it matters. I, I, fully, I fully understand that, but I'm just trying to not even really see it from the other side. 
I'm just trying to just look at all things. All things. Thirty dollars is plenty. It, it is. Chinese food thirteen dollars. It is, yeah. but with a soda. Yeah. Now let me ask you. Come on, she getting advertising mm-hmm. off. This is for you to have lunch. If we're going out. She's a liar, yo. Now, would it she, make it? All right, she not eating all that shit for lunch. Look, so would it, look, so would it make a difference if, let's just say, for the sake of arguments, that day in particular, that one day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever day of the week it is, that day, her and her coworkers, wherever they work, just so happen to be going to somewhere a little more upscale for lunch that particular day. But okay. he, do, but so he, look, that ain't none look, of my look, fucking look, business. Look, look. But he don't, and he doesn't know that. Exactly. Right? So well, I get my fucking that. Business. I get that. I get that. What but, are you trying to say, Joe? Listen, but what if it's a spot nah. that is upscale? Look, like I said, you don't know that. No, no, no. Who the fuck <laughs> gives it? Exactly. No, I'm asking you to get mad at me. No. Because you're wilding. Yeah, you're wilding right now. Let me ask you a question, Joe. Let me ask you a question, Joe. Let me ask you a question. You go out with your homeboys and shit, right? Oh, shit. You go out with your homeboys, and you going out to... Wherever y'all fucking go, to, go go have a nice happy hour drink. Whatever the fuck y'all want to do. All right. You plan on spending, uh, I don't know, let's say $70. In your head, you plan on spending $70. A chick just send you $30. you going to be ungrateful? Now all you got to do is like $40? $40, yeah. Like, exactly, like, what the I'm fuck? I'm still spending $70. i am having an even better time with that. Exactly, that's so what I'm saying. So what I'm saying. I'm I'm so I'm just, she, I'm no, Joe's no, no, get no. Free y'all making it seem you, like I'm not even money. Money. Like, That's free money for y'all making it seem like I'm not No, you making it seem like the nigga wrong for saying Yeah, you definitely is. Yeah, no, it's like you taking you. her side. Yeah, hey, yo. I don't no, like no, nothing about it. No, no, no. I don't like nothing about it. You just said I'm not like fuck it. I played it. I played it. This is not your girlfriend's favorite co op. Yeah, you took no fucking side, yo. Now it is. But. You took that for All that was known in voice, she said, This is how I spend my money. No, yeah. but my, my money. Thing, yeah. The only, I'm being nice. Right. I'm yeah. in your DMs. Yeah, don't I don't you even look know nice. you. And that's and why I said, I'm, I'm cool with that. So just I'm say cool fucking thank you and move on. You when you don't shit. know somebody, if that's how you want to court somebody, is by saying, Hey, I'll offer to buy you lunch. I'm cool with that. She but I'm shit. just saying, like, did he not? Do research on who we was fucking with. No, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Though. It do I don't it matter. He went, Honestly, I don't know if there's free women out there like no. that. Honestly, no, it matters. No, no, no. Obviously, it matters. You don't even have to go to lunch with this thirty dollars. Like you just yeah. got a free thirty. And then she, but the fact that she said I can't even put gas in like no, gas in my half a tank, bitch. Like that right yeah. there. I don't, you know, I don't really, really Big call body. chicks. Big body. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Man, but, say what you feel, man. But that right there, yeah, she got you stupid range, bitch. So. Like that would, that would, you know what I'm saying? Like who the fuck do you think you're talking to? No, I'm, I agree. He, he, I agree. I don't know. If she would came at me sideways, so, I'd be like, you want the price is right, and he bid a dollar. The dollar wasn't enough. That's all. So, all right. No. <laughs> so my man, one, 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 one of my close homeboys sent me this, and he wanted us to chop this up. And he's watching now. He wants us to chop this up. And y'all tell me, I need something from everybody in the room. So it says, what if you plan a trip with your cousins, but your girl tell you that she don't trust you because of the past? What's your next move? <laughs> what? <laughs> what you doing? I'm going hey, live yo. on Putacana. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? She y'all, don't trust me because of because of because of, of the past. Some shit that you did when y'all... You know the, my past was... No, the past of it could be the like past. You of, it earlier. It could be the past of y'all two. Some shit that happened that's in y'all relationship. Crazy. I'm, I'm going. going I'm going live. First of all, you, you can't, can't tell me crazy. who the fuck, where the fuck I can go in my spare time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm still crazy. going. You got still, going. Y'all still going? You got from who you trust? Yeah, I'm, I'm going. still going. You just work on that. So, 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 so hold up. So hold up. But hold up. But hold up. But hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. If we planning the trip, no. Nah, but hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Now why you ain't at the trip? Hold up. Hold up. I don't like how you acting right now, man. Let me ask you. Nah, nah. You are not the 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 fuck. Nah, nah. I don't like. No. I, no. I'm, I'm listening. I'm asking a question. All right. I'm gonna listen. Because because y'all straight going in. So say you had a past transgression in your relationship, but it might not have been a deep transgression where you fucked somebody, but she might have jammed you up on some phone shit when you was inappropriate or caught so you with some music or you was on mean? some other shit. What does that mean? 
Nigga, she don't fucking trust your okay, ass. Okay, so then leave me. But she want to be with you. No, nah, so if you don't trust me, then leave me. Don't tell me I cannot go out with my, my family because you don't trust me. No, leave me then. If that's how you feel, if, cause <laughs> without trust, what, it, what do you have? <laughs> ah! You right, yo? You good? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just saying, yo. If you don't have trust, what do you have? You like, oh, interesting. Because, yeah, he, I mean, he turned. You know I mean? I'm just, yo, I'm being no. honest. Like, yo, Put the, if you don't trust this, if somebody you punish this nigga before he If it. you don't trust me, leave me. Put the cup down, bro. If I, if I feel like I got to be watched every time I step out the fucking house, what, what good is that? Like, that, that's, what is it? What good is that? What good is that for a relationship? You absolutely. I mean, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just listening to what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Because I've dealt with that situation of being not trusted in town. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, you are Mitch, though. Get the fuck <laughs> out! Anyway, check back to the last episode. Get you know, your bitch. Hey, <laughs> yo, Mitch, get your bitch. Mr. Bitches, as, as I once once heard, I once heard that one Mr. time. Bitches. Yo, man, listen. <laughs> Everybody has a past. <laughs> we all have a past. Goddamn it. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> but the thing Mine is, is that. Awesome, but okay. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that when, <laughs> when, and my shit wasn't nowhere near heavy. You know what I'm saying? But it should be like. Define you heavy. out. You out? No, nah, you. I don't. I don't want you get here. You know what I'm saying? Not want some get here, but no. Nah, and keep texting you and shit to the point where I used to just leave, please, because I'm like, I don't feel like this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I never had that problem. Yeah, I, don't. I had that problem. I mean, once. you missed the bitch up. Once. Once. Yeah, I had that problem once. Maybe once or twice a chick maybe use that line like, you know, come back home or don't go out or something like that, but. I ain't never had nobody coming up. I, I don't think it was nothing that I really took serious. I was like, oh, she, she so y'all still going? going? You you say you going? I'm right? going. Yeah, I'm going. This is the you this, going yeah. That's how we work on our trust. You said that's how you work on the trust. Yeah, because if I'm there with you all the time, <coughs> I'm right there. You ain't even got to put your trust radar up or nothing like that. Let me leave and see have we learned anything. Hey yo, that's how we gonna do it. It's a that's lesson. Some, that it's is some lesson. fucking manipulation. It's a, it's a lesson. <laughs> that's a lesson. Hey yo, hey yo, that's some shit. Like, yeah, I, <laughs> like, you yeah, gonna be like, shut up <laughs> when I walk away. I be talking again. <laughs> like, like, what is? said, let's see how let's, let's work on that. Nigga, she don't. On she not trying to hear that. So what are you gonna do? Well, it's not you. It's, what are you gonna do? When I come are back, you really gonna say I'm not doing? What? First off, this this is what I if I was if I was in a relationship, I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna give it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. If I'm in a relationship, I'm going to say, I'm not going to plan it. You dig what I'm saying? Off top. Because I still should run it past her regardless because we're in a relationship. I just can't be fucking bouncing. Yeah, that's, that, so, that's I, I agree with so that. So that's first. I'm, yeah. So I'm be like, babe, look, me and the fellas, we used to talk about yah, yah, yah. Now, if she go off the deep end like, man, I don't trust you, you can't. Then that's where the fucking fight's going to break out probably. But <laughs> That's when I'm definitely You know what I'm saying? Going. Cause it's like, well, fuck it then. Cause it's, but but then you have to think about this. How long ago did I do what I, you know, what I'm saying what she accused you of? Yeah. Oh, what what I suppose I done? What I was accused what of? Caused this whole situation yeah. So how long? What, what what's the what's the time frame of this? Did I just fuck up two weeks ago and say yeah we going? Or has it been like a year and we've been doing good and we ain't had shit happening and now I'm going away. So that's what you got to think about. Because sometimes it's a statute of limitations. Now, 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 yeah, I can, I, can, I can agree with that. If you fucked yeah. up two weeks ago and now yeah. you just say, man, the homeboy's going to Vegas, that, that's a little, that's, mm. there's a statute. She got, she, got, she got a leg to stand on, yeah. but that leg is about to get chopped because I'm still going to Vegas. You still going to go? <laughs> Even if you fucked up two weeks ago? Yeah, I'm still going to No, probably not. So why you not? You, not you can't going. because you got you yeah. to get out yeah. that dug. My thing is why she not going what, it's a fellas trip. It's a fellas trip, nigga. Oh, you said fellas. Oh, he said him and his cousins. Oh, all right. It probably. I mean, I, I'm. I'm almost certain it ain't. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And even if my girl cousins was going, she'd probably still be like, "No, because they gonna let you do what the fuck ever." They ain't. They team Mitch. They not team her. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. So you have to. You gotta take that into consideration. Well, it. Okay. Yeah. I. 
the time, yeah, I will take in consideration. But you know, so somebody, so Sean said, uh, if you broke trust, what have you done to rebuild it? Mm. It's a good question, Sean. That's female, Sean. Answer that question. If you broke trust, what have, what have you done to rebuild it? Um, depends on the situation. It depends on what I broke the trust on. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, I, mean, I but, can't just. But whether it's, I mean, whether it's infidelity or whatever, it's like, all right, then we got to talk more. Obviously, there's a miscommunication somewhere where. Okay, so Angie you said, Angie said she agreed with Mac. If she don't trust you, she should leave you. Because yeah. that that not trusting some having. Having, being with somebody and it's lingering on that you don't trust them, that's that's a that's a downfall. So how long I, like so that's what I'm saying, how long would you let her keep not trusting me? Yeah, like you know, because you know, sometimes women will keep using that. Yeah, you know but, what I'm saying? Hey, like, sir, you remember because I know so, a homeboy he's you know, if I man, okay. He, okay transgression like I got ten you. years ago and he's still I got you. you know what I mean? So if let's just say let's Let's just say it was infidelity. Okay, let's just, let's just go with that. Let's say I went out here, I cheated, blah, 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 got caught, or I told her, whatever the case may be, she lost trust. Now, when you take me back, that was funny. I'm just saying, like, yo, when you decide to take somebody back. Oh, that's all. I ain't gonna say all bets is all. Not immediately. I'm just saying when you decide to take somebody back after that, you have to let that hurt go. You you have to. You've chose to forgive. You, you've chose, you've chose, to, chose forgive. to forgive. Not you forget. Cho- you Not chose. Forget. To. I can't. I can't change. We can't move. Your head. We can't move forward. I can't change what's inside your head. You so can't let the hurt forget. go. So oh, you chose. You, 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 can't, you chose that's, to forgive. That's wild. You chose. Okay, I'm. A, you chose to. Let forgive. the hurt go was wild. No, no, wild no, no, behavior. Okay, okay, okay. I, 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 I yeah. That's but you chose to you forgive. crazy now. You chose to forgive me. So that means with the with forgiveness, that means you gotta, you gotta start doing certain shit differently though. No, but after like. You're not gonna forget it. I'm never gonna say you you gonna forget it. But you. But you know it was most time when that shit happened, they turned into probation officers. Okay. But how long is that gonna be? And I you know, know, probation has an ex- expiration date. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying, probation got an expiration date. So, so it's not guaranteed. So, Sean, it's not guaranteed that the person cheated. She just, it might have been, it wasn't, it might not have been a physical cheat. It might have been a, um, you know, one of those variation cheats that y'all be talking about. And they can talk to somebody, yeah. or you know what I'm saying. That's what I mean by he did. He might not have done the physical act, but it's something that y'all. Because she was like, um, she said, "What's the root? Why did you cheat?" That conversation is important. But, yeah. Now, if it's just now, if it's just that, if it's just a conversation and appropriateness and all of that type of stuff, then yeah. To me, the point remains, yo. Obviously, we so if she. So if that happens, you willing to check in? Now, when you say check in, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you mean? like random mean phone checks. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Random phone checks. Like, let me see your phone. Oh, that phone check. I thought you meant like phone check. Nah, like, random phone, phone check. Yeah. Like, you call like, it like, I'm You good with that? Nah, because what's the point? Because then there's still no trust. Yeah, it's it's building the that. trust. Yeah, it's building it, though. That's part of my privacy. But it's building the trust. This is, this is my property. But it's building the trust, though. I don't problem. know, because now I don't trust you, because now you're doing some new shit. Where do you get this from? Ah. Uh. That, but but you, because you it never had to happen, because you didn't do shit. Yo, now I'm going to tell, I'm gonna be I'm gonna tell you what my man John Legend said, okay? Oh you God. can't say yeah, that I don't, I don't love you just because, because I, I cheat on you, okay? <laughs> Simple as that. You got to stop. I'm just man, just that, fucking them girls. I was gonna get right back. You gotta stop. That, that's some real shit though. You can't no, say joking, but, that I don't love you um, just because I cheat on you. Hey man, I'm just. Nah. You don't know what I go through for this. Like so, erase my phone and keep it out of town <laughs> and keep it strapped up when I sleep around. So, <laughs> oh crazy. Yeah, bars. Yo. That, <laughs> that, so basically, everybody said y'all. So y'all. 
regard. So, like I said, no what would be the what would be the statute of limitations on if we all say I'm going? Like of the shit that you did. Six months. You say after six months everything should be okay. No, nah, I ain't gonna say it's gonna be okay. But you, know, you should be. We able should to be. Go we off. should be working towards. You know. And you should be able to get the fuck out yeah, of town. When I yeah. when do I start planning it versus when do I go? Yeah. So all right. So yeah. That that sounds. That sounds so. What so? What so would if you I do? did something two months ago, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm okay to plan something. But did you put in the work? Now you, just because you did it and then time passed, don't you? No, not work. time passed. We we've, we've talked. We, okay. we've, we've agreed. You grown. We've agreed to do things differently. We have started to do things a little bit differently. It's not been enough time to really probably gauge it enough to, to say, to oh, no we've time really no changed. Moment. No, but I'm saying that's when yeah. you start the building, the rebuilding process. Mm-hmm. Now, if I do that in June, I feel like by September, I'm okay to start booking something for two, three months from then. <laughs> I, feel like, I, feel like, shit, I feel like that's a good time I feel like, for Two to three months is like okay. We we working that's, on something. First of all, he he he's talking about three months ago. He did something. Then he's gonna book something three months out from that. So that's six months in total. Yes, that's a good time frame. So you so but are you gonna go to her in those three months and be like, how you feel about me? And yeah, you like, have to. Or yeah. you just gonna say fuck it and no, you got to. If you're in a relationship, you have to. You so what did she say? You got the audacity to come in my fucking face, and you just did that shit oh, but three but months ago. No, no, but you know what? I'm glad you said that. You know what? I probably what I'm more than likely would do. I would plan something prior to to do with her. Exactly. You got to get out. I'm going to do that first. I do a family shit. I do shit with my kid. I built the whole shit up. Let her be like, okay, he's, uh, he's you know the stage. Yeah, I shit, what I roll this shit out, roll the WrestleMania for real. Like I set this whole shit out, roll it. Right. Okay, that's cool as long. But see, that's what I'm saying. You can't just like I'm you, not going to just fuck up and not like like that's not even on like. So what I've done to repair it is not on the level of going out of town and having fun with my peoples. Like yeah. if yeah, I haven't I, gave I you a gesture that. like that of going out and doing something kind of grand. Then no, nah, that's fucked up. I, yeah, I would have to have done something for you, shown you, you know, yeah. a weekend, a few days out of town, yeah, or whatever the case is. All right, hey, hey, that's where your pocket's taking you. Touch time, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, I you on here? These niggas said they would go ahead and go. Uh, you know, me and you were rap, but how long ago was your transgression? <laughs> That she, Last don't, week, that she don't trust you. <laughs> no, he can't go nowhere. Yeah, you know he, I mean? no, he can't even You need to find out what your, the time yeah, frame of your transgression going. was. And then, and see, I know y'all been traveling anyway, so you don't owe her no travel. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, at this point, you owe so her she did, So yeah, y'all just got to hover over the Bible, yo, and just, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pray on it to get yeah, the fuck right, out of town, you gotta, dog. That's exactly why you got to date a church girl. You cheat, they pray. The fuck? This guy here, yo. They do. They, yeah, they go to yeah, blame it on the devil. Do. They go to, <laughs> they go to sit I you down and stuff. pray with you and say it was the devil's doing. I gotta say the, that you though. The first couple of times, <laughs> the first I couple, gotta agree with her. Yeah, the first couple of times she's like, oh, "We gotta work this out. I'm gonna pray on this." Yeah, three, four though. Yeah, she gonna demon time after that. But that hey. first, you got you got at least two with a church girl. <laughs> you got at least two. Yo, um, and we talking about a real church girl. Yeah, we're real. About, not, <laughs> y'all not talking about Easter, Christmas. Nah, nah, nah. we talking about one who go every week. Yeah, you know, twice a week sometimes. Not sure you clock out at two o'clock club yeah. and then go go, yeah. go praise. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the type of church girl we talking. Um, <laughs> okay. Girl. Well, there you have it, dog. I hope I hope you heard it and I hope we help, bro. I hope everybody helps you, man. Man, his flight like booked already. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good time, Bob. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> and that was do a word not from our do not the fucking sponsor. <laughs> the entire time. Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Boy Pablo, aka Grandma's favorite grandson. Do you have a podcast? You a comedian? You a TikToker? You a creator? Come on over to South Carolinas. We'll take care of you, man. You know, we are a group of creatives who've been doing this for a little over two years now, and we're never going to stop. 
So come on in, baby. We are back with BP's motherfucking bulletin. Ski! <laughs> so, Jones still ain't there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, the first question that she has, and it's for the hip hop heads, mm. <clears throat> it says, What's the better album? Mm. Beanie Siegel The Truth mm. or Beanie Siegel The B Company? The B Company. Yeah. The B Coming is probably. Mm-hmm. It's growth. It is. No skips to me. Yeah. But um, that, I think the truth that, is that just truth too, came out though. It was it, it just too it was dark. Just, yeah. Yeah. It's just too dark. And but it was in line with everything, you know, X and just mm-hmm. just John early shit, just that gritty street shit. It was in line with everything. But yeah, that be coming fresh out and just yeah. I mean, yeah, that's something. Like, you said be coming to uh, bread and butter, like all that shit. Yeah. That's my favorite song on there. I was your bread and butter. That's my favorite song on there because that song, that song had such a strong meaning at that time for me. So yeah, that I like to be hey, coming. Hey baby, you hit to get big. Hang your tits to ten, you think, boo? Mm. No, I'm gonna go with the truth. You always got to just... Contrary as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's go. just... I remember that time when that came out. out what the fuck I was going through and that shit. Yeah, I'll go with the truth. You was in jail? Because that's where the... That's yeah, like I said. I remember, <laughs> I remember that time. That's, <laughs> that's all you can think about when you listen to the truth is jail. <laughs> now anything come on. That's Jay-Z. <laughs> and hold his file for that still. Until this day. How? Nigga, he put a whole song with him by himself on it on another nigga album. He did that on Bleak album too. Exactly, he filed as fuck for that too. That shit fired up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <man>. You made, <laughs> he gave me he, he gave me uh, songs back on on the Dynasty. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, no, he gave me songs back on the Dynasty. Nah. I got my my, my the first dynasty was a fucking oh, compilation. Yeah, man, it said Jay Z the dynasty. He'll say he he made it seem that way. He made it seem that way, but it says Jay Z. It's supposed to be his farewell album. And, yeah. That was yeah, that was more of a. But if, if this my first album, my first one, and they oh I got something for you. You think it's a verse? Not a whole fucking song, bro. Yeah, I'm trying so to help the sales, man. Man, fuck all that. I'm all, I'm hot right now. <laughs> He's all no, didn't out. Bleak have a didn't Bleak start yeah. off uh, volume two? Their summer is on. Didn't Bleak that, start off volume two? But that was a look though. Didn't Bleak start off volume two? But Bleak and Hove is different, bro. You know that. How? That's even okay. So I'm helping you. Yeah, like what? So that's I'm like, not getting no help with his Bleak. That's like when Missy gave you. Eminem the alley oop, and he had the whole song on her joint. Who? Missy gave Eminem the alley oop. What on the three thousand album? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's, so it's not right, right, like, but it's. Hey man, it's hope. Hope you still foul. So I don't care if I, I don't care if I go to the merch or not. You still foul, bro. You'll never be white. I'm never, <laughs> bro. Half the shit I done said about his wife. Yeah, I'm never going to the brunch. I'm never going to the brunch. <laughs> no, he got people that like look up shit that people say before he even fuck with them. So. Yeah, you'll never be. Yeah, up, never going to the. To See the me on that hand. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you gonna be at the brunch. I, 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 I'm never gonna be at the brunch. I will be. Me and Mitch are not gonna be at the brunch. Nah, no, <laughs> terrible I'm shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm damn sure. I will. I start yeah. working out when it's <laughs> big ass chain. Like I'm here. Yeah. But hope is so petty. He fuck around saying no to you too because you fuck with Mitch. Who? Oh, uh, I'm fucking with Mitch. Fuck with oh, shit. I don't fuck with him today, ho. Fuck hey, yeah. Shit. Fuck that Let me give you advice. I'm here with I'm Yo, here. You, it's either it's Mitch. Here rock. It's either Mitch or the brunch. Hey, ho. I gotta go with the brunch. That's right. <laughs> I'm going see, see, you gotta, think out, you gotta think outside the box. You gotta get your foot in the door. You feel me? Hopefully, these niggas trying to join the Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
but <laughs> that's what happens. So. See? They gonna go to the see? front to join the Illuminati, get their butt touched, and then I want them to hang around me. No way. Whoa, 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 whoa! And I don't want them niggas around me. No way. That nigga Diddy gonna come out there with top button up. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa! 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 Whoa, whoa, wh
Like she went on twenty twenty and the whole nine with them. Yeah, know. but then you came right back around and right. You was loving this nigga again, so yeah. it's like she got me saying me saying that, that. Mm -hmm. me seeing her feelings. That's all I need. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like I didn't write Chris Brown off when he did it in the first she fucking was, place, but, right, but the man, fact that the man. I mean, when, come you on. couldn't write off somebody else, so I know you wasn't. When, when he when he went on. Uh, no, I'm not. A, I'm not an advocate for motherfuckers beating up no chick at all. But when it happened, it was just like, damn, that's fucked but, up. But, but it, it didn't make me not want to hear forever when it, right. when it came no, out. I'm, just, yeah, I'm not saying you're an advocate, but I'm just saying you didn't write off somebody else for doing something. Because that shit is a legend. <laughs> that man's fighting for his fucking life. He don't ride a whole time, people. So you let that shit go. <laughs> He's fighting for his fucking life. Let the nigga go, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it was Aaron Hall. He did that shit. He, he yeah, so, it, so I just think that because she, I feel like because she forgave him, bro. That's after that we all throw our hands up. Yeah. We do that with everybody else. Kinda, okay, yeah, you yeah. might feel like man, everybody ass yeah. nigga, he hit her, but she forgave but, him. What right. the fuck? But it's like okay, I'm gonna tell you, it's to some people, not everybody, but to some people, it's like one of those. Situations where it's like, okay, let's just say you're in a relationship with her, you keep cheating, she 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 breaks up with you, but she keeps taking you back. It's like, what more fucking advice do we gotta give to you to leave this motherfucker alone, and he's just gonna keep doing the yeah, same thing? Yeah, just go my business. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like one of those situations. Though. But kind of, sort of, it is, but it ain't. Cause like I said, for him, to me, just because she forgave him doesn't mean he he. Put it to you like this: Just because she forgave him doesn't mean that he won't do it to somebody else. What that's, that's what people are thinking. People what year did this happen? People have accused him of doing stuff. Two thousand was oh seven. Yeah, people like, have like accused seven. him of doing stuff to other people. Something. But nobody, but no, but no chickens come out and said that. Yeah. But you know them and everybody that bitches that was out, at his they, house. They already said nah. No. Yeah, them bitches that was and at his house. Like, he beat that shit. So what the fuck? And it's like, it's like yo, and it, people, some people really think like you know. He could do it again to somebody else. But and it's but it's been fucking what seventeen years, damn near. Yeah, and but he's also not the same oh, Chris nah. Brown as he was. Oh nine. Oh, no, he's so, not the yeah. same Chris Brown at back that he was in oh nine. Yeah, he, but that's no. What he's grown into a full mature yeah, man. Yeah, nigga, do what you want to do, but the aesthetic and some of the and that man really stayed to himself. No, I know he do. I know he do. But I mean, you know him personally, huh? You know him personally? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. You ain't never seen him in. Yeah, yeah, so he was, yeah. But he was 20. Huh? He was 20. Yeah. No, no he, he was a fucking teenager. He, 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 he wasn't, I'm sorry, I'm correcting myself. He wasn't even 20 yet. Yeah. He was, okay, he, he was about to turn 20 that year. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the shit that I did when I was 19, I was damn sure was a lot of that shit I wasn't doing. But that's what they did. That's what Ray Rice, too, though. They, 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 no team was going to pick him up because they, they threatened the protest now, man. Ray Rice. Nigga, he she that spit on that spin, man. Then she spit on him. Yeah, yeah. She, no, I was just saying she spit on yeah. that man. So and, it's kind of like still that, Ray Ray. Was like with that, I understand. Because black people don't <laughs> like spit nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and now a word from my motherfucking sponsor. Go crazy. That's nasty. The ruffles. <laughs> like that's one of the worst things you can do to somebody is spit on. Them. Yeah. That's that's very degrading. So I got I got I got one more. <laughs> He shouldn't have dragged out the fucking elevator. That's what he shouldn't have done. Yeah. That was <laughs> he had to pick his woman up. Well, I mean, he did try to carry out. I mean, yeah. I guess he did carry out right up. So I got this one. It says, My 14 year old freshman daughter will be turning 15 in May. Okay. She got asked you to prom by an upperclassman. He's 17 years old. He's a junior. That'll turn 18 in September. Beat it, buddy. <laughs> I'm okay with it, but my husband to is totally against it. I started dating him when I was 20 and he was 24. That's a four year gap. But he said my mind was way more advanced yeah. than her 14 year old mind. He wants to know where the girls, at where are the girls at his age? He thinks the kid is trying to take advantage of our daughter. Mm -hmm. She's a cheerleader, she runs track, she's very pretty and well known in the school amongst all her peers. She's well liked and this is a surprise that an upper class when asked her to the prom. He just asked her Friday and my husband shut it down immediately. Indeed. I know it's not no. uncommon for a freshman to date an upperclassman, yeah. but in this case, her father has set boundaries. I personally feel that it's okay and want her to go, but he said he'll get there one day, but not today. 
She'll get there one day, but not today. She stormed off to her room with an attitude and slammed the door. So he went and took the door off the hinge. There you go. The last 24 hours of my house has been straight hellhole. I sat down with my husband after dinner when things cooled off and asked him if he had an early curfew. He, If she had an early curfew, would he be okay with it? And he told him again, hell no. Mm -hmm. And made it clear not to ask him again. Mm -hmm. I want feedback. Are you okay with your freshman daughter going to prom for 11th grader? Or do you think a girl should be allowed to go to the prom until at least her sophomore year? When we were young, we all all we did was date older guys with no problem. Yep. That Your don't thoughts. Right, no problem to whom? Yeah, that don't, that don't make it right, though. Just because we did it. A lot of shit we did. Nigga, it's a fucking now. two, three year gap. Yeah, no. You're, still a, you're all in high school together. No. Hold up. Mm -hmm. So, so what, so, so, okay. What do you, give me, you have a daughter. Yeah, so I, 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 I would allow it, but it, it's got to be, it's got to be, uh, it's got to be boundaries to this. Right. You, yes, you do have to come home at an early, at an early time. Yes, right. I would allow it though. You're in high school. It's yeah. not like you, this nigga asked the fucking middle school. All of y'all are in, together. They have high school classrooms together. What the fuck? Are you, you're not. How are you going to stop that? I mean, you can stop I mean, the boy they could be in the cafeteria together. Yeah, they, they, you, they, there's they, nothing you're going to stop they, they, when no, they're in, in fucking in, in, in school. You can't stop it. But the boundaries part is... You, you have to set boundaries, though. The curfew thing? Yes. I'm cool with that. Like, yes. He's 17. Because if you... He might can stay out till 11, 12. And I'm going to be honest. You, when, no. you start, when you start shutting people off like that, that's well, when, that's when, when they get, it gets worse than when they get older. They're going to get worse than when they get older. Frequently. Now, if he was... Now, I'm saying like a 21 year old trying to. No, that's not happening. But this nigga uh, two, is in two classes older than him. That's not happening because he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you understand what I'm saying though. Like, and he's a junior. He's a like junior. A senior, he's not a fucking senior. It's like most seniors, your mind is out the door already. So I know what your intentions are nine times out of ten. A junior. 16, 17? What would you think of that 16, 17? Uh -huh. Exactly. See what I'm saying? And, and my so my child, child who's fresh from right. middle school just got into high school, who's an athlete, which means he was watching her ass running. Fuck all he that. Might be an athlete. He's trying to fuck my and daughter. Not, fuck him. I mean, I'm fuck him. He he's gonna fuck if he wants to. Not that eventually. <laughs> you chilling her out is not gonna make it any better. Now she's gonna sneak behind your back and do it. I hope I raised a, a responsible you, young you, lady. You, you know how many? You know you know mean? Fuck. You know how many people got fucked in the cafeteria in the fucking gym? Like seriously, like let, let's be honest here. He was dead. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like let's be honest. I, I, I don't know that one. I don't. Like let's be honest here. Yes, well, I was. Weston ain't have no teachers, so they ain't have shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, I'm, like yo niggas was doing shit like that in the fuck in fucking high school. The gym, the Stand fucking yeah, 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 like nigga, it's it happens. It happens. You got you got to know how to you got to know how to to bring your your daughter. You got to know how to do that. If you don't, it's going to be worse when she gets when she when she gets a glimpse of the real world. It's going to be worse. And that's and that's not even for that's not even for girls. That's for any that's for any child. You shut a child out. You shut a child out from the world. They going it's going to be worse. Okay, okay let me ask you a question. Because now they're going to have to feel like they got the sneaky shit. What would be the difference? So let's say prom time is what? Let's just say eight to a, eight to twelve. Because mm -hmm. that's a normal prom time. Yeah, eight to yeah. twelve. Then the after party. You're not going well, to the after, going you don't have to, to go to the after party. party. It's, you, no, like, that's I'm, where the boundaries are set in. I'm coming to pick you up, like, from the front. <laughs> like, when it's time, like, no, he can stay. Uh -huh. Yeah, he can continue that to That could be a stipulation. I'll take y'all to the prom and, and I'll pick y'all up. That could be a stipulation. As you know, that's it's only that's the cool. junior prom. That shit don't yeah. even matter anyway. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even go to that shit. Because there's no difference at dropping her off to go see a Marvel movie. At eight o'clock, what a day. exactly, and I'm not there because exactly. I don't want to watch that. Now they're fucking in the movie theater. So See? either or, <laughs> or I can leave. Not in the mall because it's too crowded. I can leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can leave and then they too double crowded. back and leave. And I leave and go to a hotel. Exactly. Or like if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Unfortunately, but it's my job to hopefully make raise sure you raise right, right. Yeah. and create uh, boundaries and stipulations. I feel like. I feel like when she, the mother was saying like, you know, how it was back in the day. For me, I, if 
by my my sister is four years behind me. Okay. So my cutoff was three, three years, because if you were four years, you was my little sister pretty much. So I would never go lower than that. Um. And like she was saying, she dated him. And he was four years older. I don't know how it was for y'all. But they was that they was grown. When she I was, was no, but what I'm saying more. is. When I was in high school, a lot of them chicks in my class, their boyfriends was I had college. Chick, they ain't go to school. College, navy, niggas on niggas, the corner, street niggas. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's exactly how I was with these. Buying these young chicks, it was just Ricky yeah. Reeds and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they was way older than us. Niggas pulling up to oh, in front of your yeah. school and Toyotas yeah. and shit, picking yeah. them up. Yeah, so. You yeah, know, so when, when you think about when you think that's about why that, R. Kelly didn't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> when you think when you think about that, I would feel more comfortable with a dude that's only two years older than her, pretty much damn near. And I'm trying to figure out why he ready turned eighteen in eleventh grade, but mm-hmm. no. When you said the story, I was like, he would be a senior at nineteen. Right? So I think that's a bit much. Maybe he's got a, <laughs> maybe he's got a late birthday. But or I'm something. thinking. No, it ain't that much. But I'm thinking if it's in the eleventh. And she in the ninth, he, he really probably only supposed to be two or three years old. I graduated high school at 17. Me too. Me too. But I got skipped. So oh, not I, my yeah. birthday is late. But yeah, my birthday is late. After, so after school. It was like, yeah, I ain't turned 18 until the next year. Yeah. But he, I think I would prefer him as a high school. I feel like I can keep my eye on him and control him more because he's, because he's coming to me. You know what I'm saying? He right. came to me, asked me, if I do this, do you think... You know, we can work this out. If I the curse I'm you. I'm going to meet the young lad. We're going to have a nice conversation. But he, but he, but I, I respect that he came to the father a couple times. Like, basically, I really want to take your thought out. If I do this, can you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He, he, so he that's, put his best foot forward to be yeah. respectful to you. Yeah. So I feel like in that manner, I can keep my eye on this kid because he respects me enough to come to me like that. He ain't going no fuck you, old nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna take you to the prom. Gonna, so I'm gonna take you to the prom. I'm still <laughs> fucking. So don't worry about it. Like he not on that. He really, you know what I'm saying? And so I so, think to your point, he would probably go with your suggestion of I'm taking y'all to the prom. Right. He wouldn't have a problem with that because I'm gonna be with her. So it is what it is. Yeah. I'll take y'all and I'll pick y'all up. Yeah, I think. I if think, y'all wanna go out to eat afterwards, I'll take y'all there. Then you go to fuck home, sir. Yeah, I think I picked my son. I picked my I go sit at the bar. Senior, Y'all go sit senior. at the little table at Double T Down. Me, me, her date, and his sister, we all went on a double date. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. And my sister ended up marrying her prom date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. But, uh... You can't, you can't, like, it's only... I forget. <laughs> you gotta make sure you raise them right, man. Yeah, man. You gotta put trust in them. Shorty, and sometimes. Shorty, my man took the door off and she pissed him the fuck off. Oh, he mm-hmm. came and took the door off. Sure, All I know is when my daughter goes to the prom, Mitch is going to be right there. You got to You got to be mad. 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 You got to be real mad to take the door off the end. After, after you get off like the first little level, it's like. I don't really feel like doing the rest of this shit. You know what? Let me just put the shit. By that time, you never had to put the shit back. If you, well, if you take not necessarily. If like, his house, he don't get no fuck. I'm about if you say, take the top one off first, con- now this house it's is easy. over concept, man. If you take the top one off first, it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Because now it's just hanging, so it's gonna start breaking off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all I got for BP's bullets. We're gonna take a little break and be right back. And we are back. So, um, it's like we did, uh, rate them lyrics last week, the way we did it. Okay. We'll do it again this week. We got different guests this time. Okay. Well, he's not even, uh, but okay. Different, different co-hosts this time. Wow. Um. So, this is that name that tune and shit? Yeah. Okay. Name that, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Give me the, the artist and the song title. All right. Okay. So, um. I'm gonna start this one. Game show. <laughs> I'm gonna start this one with you, Pablo. I need the artist 
and the song. Oh. You automatically lost. Okay. Okay. I'll take the whole question. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing niggas with rusty ass German things. Keeping it thorough is our motherfucking claim to fame. Throwing your wet suit. The fuck? Wow. <laughs> okay, start this over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start this whole segment over here. Scratch that part, part yo. Count me back in, yo. That was that was wild, oh, bitch. Man, did he kill? <laughs> yeah, like yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that, take that. He got that phone. More money, more problems. Well, I mean, my yeah, man, Zach. Zach and them. The Zach attack. Five, four, three. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! We're <laughs> <laughs> too late. Ah damn. Hey yo. So just like oh, if y'all seen the last episode, I'm gonna read off some lyrics. You just give me the title and the artist. So this was for you, Pablo. Blowing niggas with rusty ass German things. Keeping it thorough is our motherfucking claim to fame. Throwing your wetsuit when it rains, it pours and all. Hit him with the four. Don't even know them. Don't even know him from a hole in the wall. I hear the song in my head. Um, I hear I hear the whole fuck song in my head. I know. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I, I hear it in my head. Like, as soon as you say it, I'm going to be so fucking upset. Mm -hmm. Quiet Storm. Motherfucker, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised you ain't know that. I don't even know where Kim Park. Damn, that's the only part you know? <laughs> yeah, huh? Hey. Yeah. Real shit, shit to me. <laughs> this one's for you, Mitch. Have you ever met a girl that you tried, tried to, to date and begin to make love? She wanted you to wait. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't get it. Because, I, I, I mean, after you said that, that Miss Marky just a friend. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. That was too easy. <laughs> Maybe. Hey. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> this one's for you, Jones. Twenty-eight, yo. Bitch, I move blocks and pounds. I move out with small blocks and from towns. Move out with small blocks and pounds, and I take everything to the table bed and rock it down. Jones blank. Say it again. Bitch, I move blocks and pounds. I move out with small blocks. Why do you emphasize bitch that time that hard? That <laughs> <man>. <laughs> like this. I'm to tell you. Move out with small blocks and pounds, and I take everything to the table bag and rock it down. Mm, I'm gonna take a guess because it sounds like a bleak verse. Um. I don't know, it sound like a big verse. You sound like your mom. Dang. Bean C. Uh, Water and Rock Fall Mix. Bean that, that... mm. Seagull was the name that they gave me. That's the. <clears throat> this was for you, Pablo. Yes, sir. Hey, one of you shoots, man. Yo, it's about that time to bring forth the rhythm and the rhyme. I'm going to get mine, so get yours. I want to see sweat coming out your pores. On the house tip is how I'm swinging this. Strictly hip-hop hip boy, I ain't singing this. Say it again. Yo, 
<laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> Yo, it's about that time to bring forth the rhythm and the rhyme. I'm going to get mine, so get yours. I want to see sweat coming out your pores. On the house tip, this is how I'm swing, swinging this. Strictly hip hop boy, I ain't singing this. Rock bass? No. LL Cool J? No. It's between two people in my head. D nice? No. Yeah. One of them, in my head, one of my head, Chub Rock, but I don't think it's Chub Rock. And. This is old. Yeah, this ain't no yeah, yeah. Shit. This is yeah. old. That's, That's why I'm saying like nice and smooth or some shit like that. Curtis Blow. No. No, it's not. It ain't that old. It ain't that old. No. And it ain't Rock Camp. Who is it? That shit sounds so familiar. Marky Mark. Mm. And the Funky Bunch. Yeah. Good vibrations. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that one. <laughs> I don't even know the hook like Jones said. Yeah, I, <laughs> I give that nigga you? way too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Chubb Rock, though. I really thought it was Chubb Rock. He probably wrote this shit. <laughs> I really thought that was Chubb Rock. I, mean, I gave him way too much credit. Yeah. Alright. Hey, this Wall one's for you, Mitch. One, two. Tell me what you got. Let me slide my quarters inside just slide to hit the jackpot. Rev me up, rev me up, my little buttercup. We can tug sheets, snuggle up, and get stuck. Oh, rev me up, rev me up. No, that's Chuck Rock. Absolutely not. Oh, I know. <laughs> God damn it, heavy D. There you go. God this damn, rev me up, rev me up a little bit. What? We got our own thing. Mm-hmm. Was it? No, 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 no. Um, Not we got our, it's, um... It's not we got on. Is it we got on thing? Mm-mm. Um, no. What's the joint? Um, fuck. Um, <laughs> no, cause that's um that's we got our own thing. Um, shit. Is it the joint? Um, now that we, we found love, yeah, love, love, we we gonna, love, yeah. I'm like, that's my shit. I know, I know that fucking song. I knew it was a big nigga. I'm like, that's one of the. My mother would do that one. I'm over. Alright, this one's for you, Jones. Is it really? I'm just gonna let you know that if you don't get this, I feel like Mitch is gonna beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long ride home. <laughs> God damn. I'm, so tired. All right. I'm surrounded by criminals, heavy rollers, even the shiesty individuals. Smoking skunks and mad fillies. Beating down really, really, really badasses, bad asses, cracks yeah. and stacks and masses. The notorious B.I.G. that is players anthem. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, Just I think, the way it plays. I think it's going to beat you up you didn't know that. Every day. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Right. I've been robbing niggas since <laughs> running them was singing. Here, Here we go. go. Wait, man. Snap them chains at the Roxy home, boy. She should have gave him that. He knew that one. <laughs> 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 All right, this one's for you, Pablo. You know, like vanilla ice. <laughs> Smooth as ice. Well, I'm the new kid. I'm just coming up. A lot of rappers think that I, can, I can't I can tear it up. Well, I'm going to show them and ignore them. And when they think I ain't looking, I'll flow them. Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. <laughs> If, if the, you, I'm gonna give you a hint. The fucked up part is if you don't know that, yeah. now don't give nigga no hint because he is our uh, uh, yeah. He's already yeah. So you can't fuck that one up. I'm going to fuck it up. Um, say it again. Oh man. Well, I'm the new kid. I'm just coming up. A lot of rappers think I can't tear it up. Well, I'm gonna show them and ignore them, and when they think I ain't looking, I flow them. Charles Hamilton. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> you worse than Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. Really? You already Yo, said huh? you already said his name early. Hey, <laughs> Rob <laughs> Bass. Uh, Jesus, I'm old, bro. I don't, you know, I don't remember shit I be saying. I'm 
for Sean. Man, they ain't know. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna need to start saying this in the, in the cadence of the song. <laughs> no. <laughs> this one's for you, Mitch. If you don't get this, Jones is gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Player, give me some brew, and I might just chill. But I'm the type that like. I'm the type that like to light another light. No, I'm a tight the night. Oh, no, nah, yo, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga over there having a stroke trying to read the shit. <laughs> Play, Damn, give man. me some brew and I might just chill. But I'm the tight to light the light another joint like Cypress Hill. I still do be spit loogies when I puff on it. I got some bucks on it, but it ain't enough on it. Yeah, that's how it's going right now. I, I, I wonder, it can't be, it ain't who I think it is. Though. I'm going to just throw it out there. Is it Red Man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We had to square up my name. <laughs> I don't know. I got five on and I said that in my fucking head, but I said that can't be that song. I said that shit, yo. I said that sound like I got five on, but I said it's not it. It was too. But when you said Jones, that's why I was like, it got. It had to be somebody else. That's why I just didn't give it the loonies. Damn, and I was right the whole fucking time. I tried to think outside of five. Last one for you, Jones. All right, I got one, so I'm good. <laughs> yo, check it out now. Your whole chose I, I ain't gonna lie. What I like turning down, Cho Cha. Drove by, smoking live. Recognize a pimp, open your eyes. Damn, they can't speak. That's Memphis Bleak, is that Cho uh-huh. Chip? Okay, we'll see. My bad. Oh, you knew that? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I ain't know you knew that. My bad. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna move in to the Mac station. Paul, choo choo, motherfucker. So I have a question, and I'm glad we talked about what we talked about earlier because it ties into this question. I was having this debate with this female, and I want y'all to be honest. Who cheats more, men or women? If it was, if this was about ten years ago, <laughs> I unanimous would be us. It's you a, still think you it's still just the advent of social media? You think women cheat more? I think they cheat a lot. They cheat. So they cheat more. I think it's niggas. That's the, the question is, do you think they cheat more? Men cheat more, women cheat smarter. I mean, everybody say that. Yeah. Everybody, everybody say that shit. I got to go with that. Everybody say that shit, but no shit. It's just that, like, I think about it. You see, Florida Evans, my man was the uncle in the, couple, the first couple seasons, he come back be the boyfriend. Yo, come on, yo. Say you cheating. Come on, Lee Yeah, man. you already know what it is. <laughs> Don't was down with boyfriend. Because <laughs> I think it's more, it's, it's probably going to sound kind of weird, but I think it's more niggas in relationships than mm-hmm. women. So a mm-hmm. nigga might be in a situation type of thing, but bro, I think that it's more women that's just like out, outwardly single mm-hmm. and not like dating anybody or claiming anybody. Nigga always got somebody in the tuck. Because we outnumbered anyway. So, yeah. So, that's, the, yeah, that's, how, that's what I say. Niggas. Bird in the hand, one in the bush, huh, boy? Sure, we can go with that. Sound one like hand it. on the wheel, that's the hand on the pussy. Well, you said we got, you said <laughs> niggas always got something in touch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a bird in the hand, one in the bush. Yeah, that sounds like some shit. I told you in Mississippi or something. But it, <laughs> what it, what it but do it make sense? It makes sense. Yeah. You can I see can. this one. Can you see yeah. that one? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you, you still think that women cheat more? Nowadays, I don't. You want to try some? 
no, no. It's hard, man. They, 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 they got they got a lot of options. Yeah, they got a lot of options. Yeah, they got a lot of options. Yeah. Yeah. Lot of options. It's hard. But see, the only thing is, see, the thing everybody is, does. It's, it, hey, I I everybody does. It. Do you? Okay. We go about what he just said. Do you have options? Any money, mo, motherfucker. <laughs> Do you have options? <laughs> Yo. No, I don't. I don't want options. But if I would hey. have options, yes. Yes. But for the gang man bubble it's not, it's not hard to have options. It's not hard to have options. Exactly. That's my point. So, right. like, so yeah. it's never been. So so he has a point. Everyone has options. Some niggas don't. Yeah, some niggas I mean, some, some women don't either. The incels out there. Some, some women don't either. Shit. I ain't gonna talk about the Niggas will fuck anything. Every woman got that is true. Niggas will fuck anything. And Chicks won't. And they that's why men cheat more. I guess. Because the, the pool is the pool is bigger. Mm-hmm. Niggas fucking anything and bras is like, but chicks, yeah. But now, like, I mean, I can't even speak because niggas be on that down little shit. But I would like chicks. <laughs> Chicks be hitting from both sides of the plate like a motherfucker too, so that's yeah, that's cheating. true. Even though you might not let it affect you as much as she would let it affect her, but I know niggas. Now let me ask you a question. Now, with that being said, with that being said, <laughs> if your woman cheated on you with another woman, I would feel so disrespected. I know niggas that don't lost <laughs> their girls to that shit. Mm-hmm. So do you think it's you? Which one you? Which one would is would hit home harder to you? She cheated on you for another man or another woman? Probably the female would hit me more, cause they kind of feel like I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do. I mean, I mean, yeah, but yeah, but, no, yeah, but no, saying, no, no, like no, 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 because uh, I, because but I, I'm not even I I would feel more inadequate her being with another female. You what? think what I'm saying? No. You wouldn't. Why? No. Because, no. like, she she actually took my joint and she ain't. She ain't, she ain't got one. Yeah. She do. It's in her back pocket. Okay. Yeah, but, but that's the problem. <laughs> suppose, but that's the suppose problem. They ain't even doing that. They just. With the scissors. The that's the they problem. Just I can go on my life feeling like she offered her something I, I don't have. There's no way I can have what she offered her. Regardless, if she went to her for a conversation, I, I don't care if the, the, the other chick had more money than me. I don't care. There's one thing I can attach and say I don't have that she has. But so she... A nigga? Oh, uh, no, that's going to hurt my pride. Because now, now she, she fucked me up for the next chick. Because I'm like, shit, I don't, I don't want this bitch to leave me for a nigga. Like, but, su- but, su- but suppose... But this is the thing. It ain't always guaranteed that she left him because he could fuck her better. He might treat her better. They're still gonna piss me off because, I, because there's nothing. That, but this chick might have treated her better than you too. But there's nothing. Regardless of the sex part, she nothing, might have made her feel better. There's nothing. So then you were adequate. Has, you you inadequate emotionally. But there's not nothing. Physically. Man, there's nothing a man has that I don't have or that I can't get. He got the emotional capacity that you okay, don't have. Okay, that, that's fine. You can't buy that's that fine, shit. But but I might can't even do it for her. But I can do that for the next chick. Maybe, but so, you might not have the mental capacity to be as suave and as sensitive yeah, as but, this nigga is. Yeah, for her. But the next chick might want the same yeah, shit. If it's in you, it's in you. Okay, okay, so, okay, yeah, okay so that's you fine. Can't, so you, so you have to look at it like that. You, <laughs> you got to look at it like that, too, Jones. And they, sometimes, <laughs> I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times with these chicks, it ain't, it ain't physical. Do you think what I'm saying? They took it first. I didn't. You know what I mean? Had a nigga girl just off of who I, you know, not saying it like that, but because being who I, shit. You, <laughs> See, I wasn't saying it in that manner. Because bitches, I don't even, y'all bitches. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to all it. the bitches out there. Yeah, do you? Yeah, that's what you call your fans, the bitches. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I wasn't saying it like that. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that Ooh, to God. all the bitches who watch this show, <laughs> this one throw up, yeah, throw up your yeah, M's, oh, man. throw up your M's. Grab your tits if you love me, hey, <laughs> bitches, <laughs> bitches, say. <laughs> 
<laughs> what I'm saying is, let me, let me throw that back in so I can say it the correct way. I've been <laughs> yo, crazy, man. I've been able to give. I've been able to give a woman more attention than what the dude was able to give her. So it didn't mean like, and this would be like she was drawn to me before we had sex. You dig what I'm saying? I got like, it. I, that's how it happens. The eyes. So that's why I'm saying. So sometimes you can't always be upset because you like this nigga fucked her and now she with him because it ain't like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, it could be just words. It could just be emotions. It could just be yeah. feelings. A crush that just grows on some hey lover shit. I don't give yeah. a rat's ass. But I would feel my more thing, adequate that a man, that a female took my girl. I've seen that happen. Nah, I don't give a shit. And when I say and, and when, is, and when I say female, I don't mean a lipstick joint. I mean a go hard. Oh, a, you mean a dagger? Bush, a go dagger. Huh? You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So we go in the next sense. A dagger to nah, you. I'm old because then in my mind. Well, then not. I mean, because I'm going to be like, oh, you, was all, you always was gay then. This was just a face, which we was doing. I get it. It is what it is. Or if it's new. Now, if you, like, got, if you got, got a dagger taking his joint, then she just got a, she got one in her back pocket. Not but it got to be like a light skin one. No, like, if it's a dagger like taking his joint, she got one in her back pocket. It got to be like they ain't a light doing skin no Oh, you said that. Okay, I thought you were saying like she had a and had then, her in her back pocket. And then if she get one that looked like Man, fresh or something, I really don't care. I'm like, oh, all right, that's what No, fuck that. I'm going to feel know. some type of way. I ain't know that's what you wanted. I'm going to feel some type of way. You should. I, w- I think I would be more upset yeah, if a I'm woman took my woman. I'm going to feel about that, though. If a woman took my woman. Like, that's. I said, oh, I don't give a shit. I don't even play that side. Like, she got game. See what no. happened. So, so, so you also. So, uh, no. Another nigga, like, I'm just. My man ego is just gonna fuck me up if it's like, oh, another nigga with money, like, damn, I need to get money. Oh, another nigga that was hitting it better than me, damn, I need to suck. Like, but I'm like, I can compare to that. I can either fix myself, quote unquote, to be like that nigga or better than that nigga for her or the next bitch or whatever. But there's nothing I can do to compete with like, like you have that woman has one thing that no matter what, because your next chick. What if she want to be gay? It's like, well, you just run into. Uh, but all the time, kids. but you said she got one thing. But all the time, them chicks don't. The 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 the, the, the what's the name? The daddy no, don't be one. No, but it's even. But you it's even mean? having that. It's having the intuition. It's have, It's like you're the like. Is probably knowing how to please her better because you have one and you know where the spots is. Like all that shit. Like yo, that shit. All them bitches ain't good, dog. Not all of them. That. Not all of them. Yeah. That, know that. Definitely. I know a lot of, well, I ain't gonna say a lot, but I know women who say that they experiment with other women and men are definitely better at doing that. Yeah, they know that they ain't all good. <clears throat> nah, I, I wouldn't know. Next topic. You wouldn't know what. What if I could get his joint took by a dag? That, uh, that would be rough. Yeah, I ain't never like, I ain't. Now, if it's a, yeah, if it's a dag, I don't know, we might have to square up. <laughs> it was like a pretty dagger though. Dude, what? Yeah, they, they are some, some pretty ones out there. I mean, yeah, they are pretty daggers. Like, I think, I mean, I ain't... What does that got to do with you? Would you rather swear with an ugly one? Nah. Is that what you say? I ain't man go by his I'm just saying, you, you swear with one, and the shirt pop off, and big ass titties drop out. Shit, I don't know. I might get rocked. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing away and rubber ground and nipple, like, oh shit, my bad, yo. <laughs> this shit crazy. <laughs> Not my bad, yo. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> now you feel like you. Never mind. Nah, no, see, you're taking it too I'm far. Not- <laughs> so I'm, I'm, not going, I'm not even going to go into that. So that's all I got, buddy. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got, you are in charge. I'm in charge? Oh, shit, yeah. This week, we got. Um, the top five Timbo produced beats. Timbo the King. Timbo the King. I don't, I don't like that little headpiece shit he got, man. That shit crazy. Oh, there ain't no piece, bro. 
Yeah, we we here now, bro. That ain't going nowhere. Oh, bro. Hmm. Shit. All right. Uh, number one. Um, I'll be around. Uh, number two. The way I are. Uh, number three. Carry out. Number four. Apologize. Uh, number five. It's hot. Oh. And honorable mention, ugly. Bump swap? Yes, sir. Alright, well, I I might have did this a little wrong because these are the songs, these are songs that I, I mean, the beats is dope, but these are songs that I, these are my favorite songs mm-hmm. by, uh, that he's produced. <coughs> Petey Pablo, Raise Up. Tough. Um, All of My Grill, Missy. Mm-hmm. Hey, Poppy. Uh, that shit was tough. I can't stand the rain, Missy. And this one, y'all probably don't know, but um, it's a song called "All the Way" by Player. The niggas that joined the yeah, yeah. So that's that's my top five. You got an honorable mention? Nah, it was just my top five. Okay. My honorable mention, he took Bubble Sparks. I, I didn't mm-hmm. have to say it. All right. My number one is Lloyd Banks. I'm so fly. Uh, number two, hmm. Picasso Baby by Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Three is Are You That Somebody by Aaliyah. I, four, yes. I knew somebody was going to put that on there. Uh, <laughs> four is, we just uh, talked about it in the lyrics uh, joint. Is That Your Chick, Ripley? Um, and five, Hot Boys by Missy. That was in my, I took it off. Uh, honorable mention, um, uh, what the fuck was that shit? Lobster and Shrimp. Oh, that shit was tough. Oh, that's him and Jay. Okay. Yeah, and speaking of Magoo, I uh, loved it, loved it. That was like, I used to fuck with that beat back in the day. This is the right to you. All right, my top five is number five, Say Something. I hate drink, but that beat is <laughs> That beat tough. Um, number four, Holy Grail. It was between that and Picasso, baby. <laughs> that <laughs> holy grail. One of them. I didn't want to put that two from that drop album. Is yeah, crazy. that shit mean. Number three, put you on the game. That was that's a good one. Number two, love to love you. Um, number one, hola obito. Mm. Mm. And my honorable mention, icebox. I'm surprised nobody said what's the name? Uh what's the what's the joint from uh Dirt Off your shows? That beat is yes. Why well, you ain't fun. saying that? Yeah. That beat because I thought one of y'all was going to say. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it was too it was yeah, too. Yeah, that's why yeah, that's why I did so I could have thought of it. Yeah. I thought the potion the potion hard too. Cause that dirt off your shoulders. Yeah, the potion. Mm. I was gonna say cry me a river though. Yeah, I thought about that one too. Yeah, that that no that but that that I would love beats. What's the uh, beats and sex sounds or whatever that? Yeah, sex sounds. That would have some yeah. fucking beats. One. I mean, my love is tough. Yeah, my yeah. love of five. Yeah. Shit, he did hell of a good production for uh, Carrie Hilson. Yeah, suit suit and tie yeah. fire. Yeah, that yeah, whole, that's that a whole, whole bunch of whole that shit. That whole joint, yeah, shit, because he if he produced. If he produced Mira, I don't know if he produced Mira. I didn't look to see. If he the produced, Justin Timberlake joint? Yes. Because if he did that, shh, he did. Because you, uh, you, uh, I think he did that motherfucker. Because that shit is hard. Timbo got I forgot all about Mira, yo. Timbo got and that's one of my favorites. Especially when the, uh, when the, when the guitar plays, that shit hard. We all got anything else for the He did. He did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, I should, that, that's my shit. Mm-hmm. I forgot all about that. Y'all got anything else for the people before we get up out of here? Got any more tickets left? For, uh, <coughs> yeah, we got uh, 13? 10. 10 now. Okay. Yeah. So there's tickets left for the live show. It's Maybe here. Nine. 30, 37 Hamilton Avenue, March the 9th. Yes, sir. It's so it'll be this coming Saturday this. when y'all see this. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Tickets are available on the Eventbrite. I'll be here. Yeah, Mac will be here. He's the 
He's the host with the most on the skills. <laughs> so he'll be here signing his book. He got a book yeah. out. Mitch will be uh, courtside. And, uh, yeah, I'll be watching. You talk Mitch will be line. courtside with your Mitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, uh, the studio is available for you. You know, you want to come up here and turn up, do something. 30, Whatever you feel like doing, you do. You just got to pay. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. 3037 Hamilton Avenue. You can go on saltcurricans.com and you can uh, book there. Yes, sir. Um, and on that note, I mean, we see you folks hopefully next week. And I want y'all to remember one thing. We're not only a podcast, that's a show. But we a show. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. We, we a show that got canceled. On. Yeah, we're gonna edit that out and then come back to you and let you. No, this is good for camera. Oh, this. Yeah, this, this, that's this, wow. This, this is good. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Yo, this is good for. Yeah, this is a blooper scene. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so once again, we <laughs> We want y'all to remember one thing. We're not only a podcast, that's a show. But we a show. That's a motherfucking podcast. And we out this bitch. You kind of said that aggressively. Buddy. Mitches. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch. Hey, yo.